Hey guys, third video here, Petri Design. So this time we're going to be going over a few things, specifically Revolve and Loft. So we're going to start off by the Revolve tool. So just start off by making a any type of shape above or beside one of the axes. So I'm just going to create a circle right here, finish sketch, and you've got your circle in your modeling view. So then you want to go up to the Revolve tab, select your shape or actually you can do it this way but I'm gonna go back into the sketch and you can create a line here and this can be your axis so finish sketch then you're gonna to want to revolve this and you can select your axis and it's automatically gonna revolve around your axis that you select so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that I'm gonna revolve again select that same circle or you can go into here and select one of these axes, either the Y, X, or Z axis. So if I select the Y axis, it will revolve around that one. Say I select the X axis, it will revolve around that one. Z, it probably won't work because the circle is in the wrong plane. So, But for now, I'm just going to go with this one. Okay. So you can go back in here and change any of the current current uh, selection. So I'm going to go to angle, you can select 90, 180, whatever you want. So let's just go with 180. Yeah, and then you've got these forward, backwards, and halfway in both directions. Or you can specify whatever you want. So that's good. So okay, that's how you do revolve. Pretty straightforward. So you can go on here, new sketch, you can do something else. Like say you want to make a square here, rectangle, sure right on there, finish sketch okay we're gonna actually go back into that sketch and you can use this project geometry thing and you can create another circle there, L, we're gonna connect these two lines and mirror this uh, we're gonna create a your, your uh, the line that you want to rotate around so go to extrude select your shape and your axis just go to axis select it and it goes all the way around perfect so say we want to intersect look at that it creates a nice square through the center of this entire this entire half donut pretty much so we want to add to it okay there we go so now look we've got some sort of ring type of deal going on here it looks pretty cool I have to say so that's pretty much how you do a revolve. So now we're going to delete both of those. Delete. OK. And it deletes everything. So then go to 2D Sketch. You can select whatever plane. Doesn't really matter. Start creating shapes. Just circle for now will do. Finish Sketch. You can go ahead and highlight that plane. Right click on it. Select Visibility. And it will become visible. So go up here to your ribbon, select plane, and you can drag a plane off of here to whatever height you want. So we'll just stick to three. Hit enter or the check mark, and you can start a start a new sketch on here. Create sketch, click on this. And okay, we'll create a small rectangle right in the middle there. Finish sketch, and now you've got a rectangle above a circle. So we can go and pull another plane off of here, another three inches up, enter, hit the check mark, and create another sketch right on this plane. You can also do this in the middle, C. We're just going to actually project the geometry of this circle onto this one, and look at that. We've got projected from here onto here, finish sketch, and we can turn off the visibility on all these work planes, because it can get pretty, pretty dense. So, loft. Select the loft, start off by selecting all your all your different shapes and it's automatically going to connect them, which is what the loft tool does. So you can go and hit merge tangent faces, or you can go do closed loop. This is gonna do an entire wraparound of the object. So instead of having this inside part filled in, it's going to do the outside part, like a closed loop pretty much. Then in conditions, you guys can go play around in here. You can select which type of conditioning you want. doesn't really, it will depend on what you're doing really. So, okay, look at that. 
It's a closed loop loft. So you want to change it, double click on the loft tab, and you can go back into here and change what it is. So not closed loop, okay. Look at that. It's like an hourglass type of shape. You can create almost anything you want with this. It's a very powerful tool. You can create different types of pipes, things like that. So that's how you use the loft and revolve. Thanks for watching.